Hello and welcome to my F1 2021 Williams Road to Glory career mode here today for part 22 for the Belgium Grand Prix. We didn't get one in real life, hopefully we can here, but before we get into it, um, we've had we've got a warm MGUK, MGUH, so we're going to change that, which is going to give us a penalty, but for qualifying then, it was raining, started off with wet, towards the end of winter inters, this is our final run of qualifying, you see Charles Leclerc there, and now like as we head through a uh, Rouge and Sebastian Vettel parked on the exit here we have a big big accident what was Sebastian Vettel doing you can't park it on the exit of a uh, Rouge when it's dry let alone when it's wet what is he doing We've had a massive incident. So we're going to start last. And this is the grid. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Norris, Pierre Gasly, and Verstappen, Leclerc, Ricardo, Russell, and Carlos Sainz, Sonoda, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, and Stroll, Joe, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher and Christian Lungard, Mazepin and Brown. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Honestly, it's scared for life after that crash. That was huge. Thank God no one was behind me. But it's a wet race. I did have flashbacks of real life. But let's get into the actual thing then. It's raining for the whole race. The lights went out and we're on the way for the Belgium Grand Prix. The two Mercedes get away well then as it's behind the Red Bull round the outside. We just need to send it into turn one, which we did. And thankfully we did gain a few places from that. As we head down now, side by side with Lance Stroll through a rouge side by side. But we did have to back out of that one because that's lethal and we've already hit one Aston Martin at Rouge in this episode we didn't need to hit the other one it's now into the chicane we're right behind but we can't really do anything from here because it's really hard to get someone on traction and through this middle sector although that isn't troubling Carlos Sainz it's gone wheel to wheel with Sebastian Vettel and actually just about nearly getting that job done but, the, but Vettel on the exit got the job done instead just about stayed ahead of the Ferrari as we go through Puron and now towards the end of the lap then we are going to send it on a large stroll and on Esteban Ocon and we're going to get ourselves up into P14 and now we're right on the back of Guan Yu Zhou but I just could get nowhere near him I was just stuck in a loop where I'd catch him at the end of the straight and then randomly but Stroll! Stroll! Stroll's round and lost it through the chicane and he's dropped it that's relieved some pressure from me because he was waiting for if I made a mistake trying to overtake Guan Yu Zhou and that's just sent his race crumbling down as he's dropped it through the chicane and you can see here he just lights up the rear tyres and that's his race over he did well to keep it out the barrier but he's going to have to do a good recovery drive as for two races in a row George Russell is out of the Belgian Grand Prix that is now collectively between me and George four retirements from the six Grand Prix luckily not all at once but finally I saw my chance down the inside we finally got the Chinese driver in his Alpine after long waiting and a couple of laps later lap 10 sadly 
Nikita Mazepin retired from the Belgium Grand Prix with an issue. Once we got past Manu Joe, we kind of sat about a second and a half ahead of him. But at the end of lap 12, he comes into the pits to attempt the undercut. So when that later, but later, I was going to pit at the end of this lap, but Daniel Ricciardo decided to give us a little race. We go side by side, very blanchy, man. And we just about stayed ahead before we go into the bus stop chicane and into the pit lane that was very, very slippery. I'm sure if these conditions were real life, we'd all be sat in the garage now waiting another four hours for a Belgian Grand Prix that probably would have just done two laps behind the safety car. I did have flashbacks from that Grand Prix when I saw it was raining for the entire race but of course we are hard for the F1 games and have to put up with very very bad incident, um, conditions but out of the pits we come and Kwan Yu Jai undercut has won wonders as he has beaten us out of the pits and we're back to square one and got to overtake him again but after that not a lot happened we couldn't get anywhere near Kwan Yu Jai and Lewis Hamilton after the disappointments of um, Silverstone comes home to win ahead of Bottas and Sergio Perez but I just couldn't get past Guan Yu Zhou and in, in the end the undercut won him the battle. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So fair play to Guan Yu Zhou. That was a really intense battle between them. I tried everything I could. I was just stuck in a loop where I'd catch him coming out of La Source through a rouge. And then from that point, you can't really overtake. So he would slowly pull out again. And then I'd start to catch him towards um, Puan. Free branch of sorry, and into the bust up chicane, and then we'd have another go. But that's been this episode. You saw the standings. I'm hoping for a better Monza. We've had some cracking races there, and until that one, goodbye. <laughs>